Hello, let's do the New York Times Hard Sudoku for August 31st, 2023. There's a link in the description if you'd like to try the puzzle yourself, and I'm going to get started right now. All right, so I'm looking for doubled up digits. So these eights are doubled up, so we can mark that eights are in one of these two. We have two sixes. Six is one of these three. Two fours. That's a four up here. Okay, that's all the doubled up ones. I'm gonna look at um, certain formations. So first thing I'm doing is I'm scanning for, um, we have this clump of three digits and what makes those digits interesting is often this column and this row that they avoid. And we're looking to see how many open cells there are that can actually contain one, six, four. And this is not a good example because uh, a lot can, but it can be helpful. Also just in general, if you have just this or this, you can look at the rows and columns that they avoid and see if you can find any doubled up digits for crossings. But uh, again, this is not doing a great job of doing that. Um, okay, let's look over here as well. So we already have an eight in the box. Sixes are marked. So here I'm looking at this eight. But we already have an eight in the box, so that's not helpful. All right, yeah, so we can kind of skip a lot of that. Um, two would be the uh, the interesting digit here, because two C's up here. It's, li it's in one of these three. If that were down to two, it would be better. All right, so I don't think there's anything else to find up here. Let's look down here. Um, also, I did. I am going to be look. I should have been looking at this four, eight, nine, and seeing, but the eight's repeated, so the chances of that being useful are very low. Let's see. Down here we have two nines. So nine is oh, nine is placed. Very nice. Uh, we have two threes here. Three is placed. Again, uh, the reason for that is these two nines looked in. This nine looked up. Five is not nine. So the only place in the box is for a nine is right there. And then these two threes uh, took it out of those, and this three looked up, leaving just this slot for three. Um, now I'm looking at these rows and columns and seeing they both just have nine and three. So we can't do anything more with that. I'm also interested in these rows and columns because we have this block of digits given um, and the six comes out as useful. So this six looks down. So there's a six in one of these two. Now these sixes do what's called pointing. So if the six is here for the box, then it can't be here in the rest of the row. Um, so we do have these two sixes looking to the right, basically. So we can place the six in this box here. There's only three digits left in this row. Whenever there's three digits left in a row, column, or box, I always just recommend penciling it. You might find something interesting. Or at the very least, just think about what the three digits left are. But if it's three left, I like to pencil it. Um, we need a one, and actually you can already see that one can only go there. So now we're down to two digits, uh, four. And I'm briefly scanning to see if we know anything about fours. And seven. Okay, I do believe this is just a four, seven pair. This is already, this this whole set, th this whole band here of three boxes is already very limited. Um, I am noticing a lot of digits here as well. So that might come in handy. Um, okay, so I'm gonna think about what we need in each of these boxes. This box needs a two, four, five, seven, eight. That's too many, not eight, two, four, five, seven. So if we need a two, this two looks in. Two's in one of these two. We also need a five. These two fives look in. Okay, so this is a two five pair. So there's two ways you could see this. One is you can just corner mark the twos and the fives separately and see that they overlap. These completely overlap and it's two digits for two cells. So that does make it a hidden two five pair because we need to fit the two and the five in this box. And those are only two places. You could also see that all at once where the two five and the two five are looking in. And that does also create the hidden two five pair on its own. This can only be four or seven now because the two and five are used up for the box. And this four looks down. So we get the seven and the four and the seven here. Very nice. These two digits are a pair as well for the row. We need a four and a four and an eight. And this eight looks down. So this has to be the four, this has to be the eight. This is now a pair for the box. We need a four and a six. That's not resolved. But we have a pair here and a pair here. This is going to be a triple for the box or the row. Uh, and we need one, seven, eight. 
So I'm seeing this sees 7 and 8, so that's the 1. And then now we need 7 and 8 in this box, this sees the 8, so that's 7, that's 8. Wow, yeah, we are getting a ton of digits. So we just got a bunch of digits. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep scanning, <laughs> and then I'm going to go vertical, and we'll get a bunch when we go vertical. I don't think there's much to find in these digits alone, though, if we go horizontal. So the only thing that I could think of is this here. We, we do want to scan this row. We want to scan these two columns for duplicates that aren't 2 or 7. So basically the 8 or the 5. So the 8 is helpful. Um, we don't know about the 5. The 5 is here, and there's no 5 up here. So the 8, the, this 8 looks in, this 8 looks down. That leaves 8 in one of these two only. That is going to look up, and that's going to place this 8. This is the same pointing that we were talking about earlier, except it points in the column instead of the row, because that's how they line up. Um, this 3, 9 we could also look for. We'd have to find a 5, and we do have a 5. So this 5 looks down, and this 5 looks in. So there's a 5 in one of these two. These 5s join together to look up together. That leaves a 5 only over here. In general, this column has 3 left. I'm sure there's other columns with only 3 left. There are. Um, let's just start filling them. We need 1, 2, and 5 here. Okay, the only thing I'm seeing is this 1. So we'll do 1, 2, 5. And of course, this 5. So we'll clean that up. Um, this row has 3 left, and this column has 3 left. I'm going to fill those as well. We need 2, 5. Oh, 2, 3, and 5. I'm seeing this 2 look up. Otherwise, nothing. Okay, and then this column, we need a 2. 2 is a theme here. This can't be 2. Uh, we need 7 and 8. 2, 7, 8. Okay, I'm going to pencil that, but what I've seen is that this can't be 8. So we know the 8's going to be down here, and then we can clean up the 7 and the 2 here. All right, I'm going to scan vertically now, um, and we're almost always going to find a buddy for like every digit that's outside of these, right? So the 4 and the 4, we can mark these 4s. The 1 and the 1, we can mark these 1s. Uh, the 6 and the 6, we can mark 6s down here, and then the 8 and the 8, we already have marked. Uh, and this 5 should have a buddy. The 5 doesn't have a buddy, unfortunately, because of the 2 5 pair. So. Um, Let's see, I also want to look at this 1, 6 again, just in case. So we're looking at these. Unfortunately, this row, oh, this row's empty. I could have seen that. Well, we've got the 4 and the 6 pointing, but that's not helpful because they're already in the box here. So, okay, maybe not. Maybe not anything to find there. All right, let's keep looking vertically. We'll probably have some easy stuff to find. So these, so let's do the 2 and the 7. The 2, the 2s look up, putting 2s here, and then these 7s look up. Putting sevens here, we have this seven. Um, and then up here we have this six, it doesn't have a buddy, we have the two eights we already marked. Let's do these as well, just really quickly. Uh, three and three, there's a three up here. Nine and nine, we have all the nines. Eight and eight, we have all the eights. Seven and seven, and this seven puts seven down here. Nines we already have, eights we already have four. Four and four. Okay, so we found this hidden 4 or 5 pair. We could have seen that by having these pointing 5s um, with this 4 and this 4 and 5 looking down as well. But either way, this is a hidden 4 or 5 pair. And now I'm going to see we're going to get the uh, we're going to get the 6 and the 3. And I know that because of the corner marks. <laughs> but what we can do is we can look at, uh, because there's a 4 or 5 pair here now, this column basically knows where it's 4 and 5 are, so these can't be 4 or 5. They couldn't anyway. So this is going to be a 3, 6 pair, because that's what the column needs, and this can't be a 6. So we're getting the 3 and we're getting the 6. Um, this is 1, 2, or 5. It can only be 1 or 2, not the 5. Okay, so let's think about what this box needs, or it's the same as the column. Um, so we need a 1, 2, 6, and 7. So we can mark the 6s down here. Okay, um, does this 3 do anything, by the way? Uh, three is in one of these two. This may be interesting. Okay, and three is up here. All right. Um, I think I'm going to start looking at restricted columns. We already looked at this one, which didn't do. Let's see. What were there again? One, two, six, seven. This can't be two. I think that's the only thing I see. This can't be seven, of course. 
right, I'm going to think about this column now. Uh, we have one, two. We need three, four, six, and nine. So the six is only these two, which doesn't really help. All right, we've got to look elsewhere. Um, I'm going to rescan this top band, maybe, um, because we did get quite a few digits in it. Unfortunately, I'm not actually seeing anything to really scan. Um, we finally have a six. Uh, I guess the six doesn't matter, though. I was going to say we finally have some digits up here, but they're all in this box already. Uh, this is the the ten minute lull. Whenever I look up and I haven't made progress, it's always ten minutes in. Um, okay, in this row we need a one. The one can't be here, and the one can't be here, and this is full. So we know the one is here. That yeah, we knew the one was up here as well if we looked at our triple. Hmm. So one. Okay. So this is an interesting observation. One, two, four, seven are almost limited to these four. If we could remove four from here, we'd actually get a hidden one, two, four, seven quad. Um, but unfortunately, I don't know how to remove four from here. <laughs> Not sure that I can. Um, but this cell avoids all of those digits, right? So let's think about what it can actually be. It can't be one or two or three. It could be, it can't be four um, or five or six or seven or eight. So it is only nine. So that's that's another good thing to look at is if you got a bunch of corner marks in your box, you can look to see what the ones that aren't corner marked are limited to. So now the rest of this column is just two digits. Um, four and, oh no, it's three digits. I missed that. Sorry. Uh, four, six, and, nope, I missed one. Three, four, six. I'm going to pencil that. It's not six. I feel like I'm close. Hmm. Okay, let's look for more limited cells. That's probably key. Um, let's see, I got this nine. Ah, the nine is actually helpful. Follow up with that. Um, so these two nines look into here, and this nine looks up, and that eight's not nine. So nine goes here, and then we have that three corner marked. We used up one of them, so now this is the only place for three. That gives us this five. Gives us the two. Um, this now can't be... Hold on. This this is one. <laughs> Sorry. I, I got a little stall there. Um, don't know what happened to my brain, but I got it back. Um, okay, so this is going to be a triple now. Um, two, six, seven. So we might as well mark that. This can't be one. This is a triple for the box. So we need a two, five, and seven. And we know that one of these is a five. This can't be seven. So that leaves a two, five pair in this column. So the remaining, this is going to be a triple. We need a one. We have the two. We need a three. And then we need a six. So we don't need the corner marks anymore. So one, three, six. Just checking. No, we don't really learn anything from that. Let's see. Feels like we ought to have, but we did not. Let's see. This row, what do we need? We need two, three, four, seven. So this can't be three or seven. So it's two, four only. This can't be two. So it's three, four, seven. See this row, we need one, two, five, seven. This just sees the seven. It's one, two, five. Oh, it sees the five as well. Right, because the fives are marked over there. So really, we just need one, two, seven over here. This can't be two, so this is one, seven. Okay. Um, So if I were to, so I don't need these corner marks anymore, really, because we kind of have that baked into our center marks here. Okay, so it's got to be something down here, I think. 
These two nines look down. I'm going to rescan this vertically. These nines look down. Not at the bottom, of course. That's really the only new buddy, huh? The fives? Oh, the fives. Those look in. So fives are in one of these two. So this cell is avoiding all, a bunch of corner marks. So let's take a look. Um, it could be one. It, oh no, it can't be one. Okay, it can't be one or two. It could be three or four. It can't be five. Darn, it can be a lot of things. Can, oh, it can't be five. Yeah, okay, it can be six. Sorry, I'm getting confused. It can't be seven, eight, or nine. So two, three, four, six, that matches this one. There we go. Now we get a, oh wow, we get a three, four, six triple here. I'm just going to double check that. This sees one, two, not three or four. It sees five, seven, eight, and nine. Yeah. Okay. So we get this three, four, six triple. So this three, four, six triple removes three, four, and six from the rest of the row. So this can't be four and this can't be six. And we're left with just two, seven, nine in this row. And this can't be two or seven. So this has to be nine. Um, that leaves a two five seven triple here. So these two are the remaining digits because we have this naked triple. We we basically know where the two five seven go in this column, right? They go in these three cells. That's a naked triple. So we can't put two five or seven anywhere else. Three three values for three cells. They must go there. So these two that are left are four and nine. So we know the order because of this nine. Place the four and the nine, and I think that this should finish our puzzle up. Just plunking digits at this point. Well, hold on. Uh, one, two, four. This can't be two or four, so that's a one. All right, now maybe it's plunking digits. <laughs> one last little thing that I didn't have marked up. This is certainly going quickly. Three, six pair, that's a one. It's an eight. Four and three, six and four, and a six, and we're done. Oh, it didn't feel like 17 minutes, but um, yeah, okay. I, get, I had a little bit of a lull there, um, but it was because I hadn't thought about looking for um, looking for digits that were, were limited. So anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, my AC just came on right at the end, but that's okay. And if you did enjoy this, then why not leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below.